CIET NCERT presents the audio book Joyful Textbook of Mathematics for class 1 Page number 10 Chapter 2 What is long what is round Look around Vidya didi asked all the children to sit in a circle Here on page number 10 there is a picture of a classroom and a teacher is trying to teach children with play way method teacher says what is long what is round look around look around a young boy replies my legs are long and my face is round look around look around and a girl says My pencil box is long and my ball is round. Look around, look around. Ask children to play this game in the class. Let children name two things, one long and one round. Every time, take the name of a new thing and avoid repetition. For long objects, children may focus on one dimension like tall, wide, etc for example some may say a tumbler is long whereas for some others it may be round both views need to be considered let children explain their logic of saying so page number 11 think and do a draw round objects in circle and long objects in rectangle There is a picture given here on page number 11. Here there is a circle and inside the circle there is a ball and a chapati. You can draw some other objects which are round in a similar way. After this there is a rectangle given. Inside the rectangle we find a water bottle and a pencil box. You can draw other rectangular objects in the blank space given inside the rectangle page number 12 b match the objects which are similar here on page number 12 there are some pictures given on the left side one is a drum second is a ball third is a cardboard box fourth is a puri fifth is a birthday cap On the right side also we have some pictures. First is a chapati, second is a sweet box, third is a candle, fourth is a paper cone, fifth is a ball. C. Tick right for the shape similar to a ball. First we have a watermelon. Second we have a water bottle. third we have a pencil box fourth we have an empty ice cream cone page number 13 d tick right the shape similar to cap here on page number 13 four pictures are given one is a paper cone second is a candle third is puri Fourth is a cardboard box. E. Tick right for the shape similar to glass. The first picture is that of a ball. Second is that of a water bottle. Third is a cardboard box. Fourth is a backpack. F. Tick right the shape similar to matchbox. Here on page number 13 again there are four pictures one is of puri second is of a ball third is of a pencil box and fourth is of a paper cone let us do make a house toy tar robot bus or anything you like using different objects you can find around you you can also use 
notebooks, textbooks, pencil box, water bottle, waste or old boxes, birthday caps, funnels, etc. Divide the children in four groups. Give one shape to each group and ask children to bring two different used or waste objects similar to the shape assigned. Display all the collected things in the classroom and let children share their things and the reason why they chose those particular things. Page number 14 Wise Grandmother Once there was a little lamb who was going to meet her grandmother. The wolf saw the lamb and wanted to catch it. Please don't eat me now. Let me first go to my grandmother's place and grow big. The wolf says, Okay, you may go. The lamb told everything about the wolf to her grandmother. The grandmother got an idea and put the lamb into a dholak and rolled it back to her house. Read aloud the story and ask children to enact it. In the first picture, we can observe a lamb running inside a forest. It is going somewhere. In the second picture, there is a wolf and a lamb. And lamb is terrified and requesting to leave her and let her go to her grandmother's place. In the third picture, the grandmother is telling the lamb to hide inside the dholak. The lamb is getting inside the dholak. Page number 15 The dholak rolled very fast and the wolf started running behind it. The wolf could not catch the lamb and it reached home safely. In the fourth picture, there is a dholak rolling very fast on the ground. And again in the same picture, a wolf is trying to catch the dholak. In the fifth picture, we can observe a lamb jumping outside the dholak and trying to get inside a house. The wolf is trying to chase her. In the sixth picture, the wolf also comes there following the lamb, but he could not catch it. Let children reason out why the dholak rolled. Let there be a discussion about its shape and the sloppy or inclined surface from the jungle to the lamb's house. Page number 16. Let us slide. Children are playing carom as given below. You can also play and see how a striker slides to reach the corner. We can observe four children playing carom here. One child who has hit the striker is saying, My striker or goatee rolled instead of sliding. A. Write R for rolling objects and S for sliding objects in the circles given in the picture. Here is a picture on page number 16 of a park where there are some rolling objects and some sliding objects and also there are some circles to write R and S for rolling objects and sliding objects. B. Collect different objects around you and observe if they roll or slide. C. Do you observe things which can do both roll and slide? If yes, discuss in the class. Ask children to tell about different objects in their house or school which roll as well as slide. Also discuss which features of the objects help them to roll or slide on a plane surface. Page number 17 Think and do Find whether the following objects roll, slide or do both. Put tick or wrong in the given boxes. Here we have a table. The table has four columns and eight rows. The columns are 
objects, rolls, slides, rolls as well as slides. The rows are ball, pencil box, book, orange, water bottle, glass, spoon, paper cone. You have to put right or wrong inside the box bases the shape of the object. Project Work A. Collect cardboard boxes like shoe boxes, empty food boxes, fruit boxes, etc. Make a slit on the front of the box and draw eyes, mouth and nose. Make a puppet with the help of your parent or teacher and play with it. Make puppets from your favourite stories and do a puppet show in your classroom. B. Make TARS with different objects. Find which shape of objects make taller and stable TARS. C. Create different shapes and objects by using clay. You were just listening to this audiobook, Joyful. Narrators Akash Ahuja and Shalini Singh Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Vikas Sangwan Production Assistants Somya Malik Produced and Directed by Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India